All right, our solution is now at about 85 degrees. And so we are gonna begin our titration. I'm going to put this flask underneath our beer red. We're gonna add that magnetic stirrer to the bottom. And then I'm just gonna get my camera set up here so you guys can see. And we are gonna titrate until we see that light pink color. So I'm gonna get my flask underneath. And I'm gonna start it stirring. I have a white piece of paper underneath so we can see a little bit better as our light pink starts to show up there. There's our stirring. Just gonna have it slowly stir for me. Nice gentle stir. And then we're gonna start to add our potassium permanganate until we see that light pink color emerge. Get that lined up. Here we go. We want that light pink color to stay. So you can see how it turned uh, purple there for a second, but then it went back to clear. We're looking for that change in oxidation number of our manganese. So right now it's in the MnO4 minus stage as a dark purple, and we're looking for it to turn into that Mn plus two, um, which is that light pink color. So I'm gonna keep adding a little bit at a time until we have that faint, um, that faint pink color persist, then we know that the reaction is complete. So adding a little bit at a time. I've known from doing some stoichiometry ahead of time about how many milliliters worth of acid I'm gonna have to, or excuse me, potassium permanganate I'm gonna have to add here. So I'm gonna go a little bit fast in the beginning and then we'll slow down there at the end when I know I'm getting close. Linger, and now we have that faint pink color. It's no longer white. It's got a little bit of a pink tinge to it. And so now I'm going to take a look at my burette reading. picture of this for you guys. And now you'll be able to figure out the exact molarity of the potassium permanganate.